Leif Cedar, originally from Phoenix, Arizona. That's in Arizona. It's kind of a touchy situation. My boss is like a, a brainless bonehead. I'm self-employed. I'm here at the Purina Pet Comedy Challenge, and I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm still like trying to figure out those big life questions out, like philosophy and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm going to try to be funny, and I'm going to try to win this contest. And my pets always laugh at me. So, do you think you're going to make the wall? You look like you need some direction, young man. Let me show you what you need to do. Go out this, go keep going until you see a curtain, go left, there'll be a bunch of people. Ladies and gentlemen, Leif Cedar. Okay, hey. My mind's like a liquor store. It's closed on Sundays. And a Korean family keeps trying to take it over. I have ADD, attention deficit, uh, something. So I've been missing some Ziploc baggies. Then I catch my cat selling catnip to all the cats in the hood. That little furball knows the metric system. Cats are creatures of habit. They like to bring home presents. It's cute for a while till I get my credit card bill. I didn't know you could buy dead birds on eBay. Now when she asked for the credit card, I use a spray bottle. She got me back, she killed my computer mouse. Cats don't have a conscience, they never look guilty. They're like, whatever dude, it's not my problem. They could pee on your carpet and tear up your house and they never look guilty. When dogs do bad, they always look guilty. They're like, you know that room I'm not supposed to go into? Sometimes when you leave, I always go in there and I pee on the carpet. Please don't rub my nose, don't rub my nose. That's a guilty conscience. Cats are agnostic. Cats have religion, or dogs have religion. They worship us. So I have a talk with my cat. I know you're an independent thinker, but stop thinking outside the box. I rescued my cat from an animal testing clinic. To this day, it hates wearing lip gloss. My pet goldfish ran away. That's pretty coy for a goldfish. It calls later and requests I forward the mail. But it doesn't sound like my goldfish. It sounds suspiciously like my cat pretending to be the goldfish. Do animals experience deja vu? Goldfish must have deja vu like every five seconds. Wow, man, that cat looks familiar. The sushi bar called said they found my goldfish. Thank God I had it microchipped. Turns out the extra microchip on my cat's x-ray was a neighbor's missing chihuahua. It's not my cat's fault, she's just reacting to instinct. Cats instinctively have instinct. The cool thing about instinct, you don't need any formal training. I don't want to get political, but exotic animals are coming into our country and taking away jobs from our domestic animals. <laughs> Stupid bird, learn more words. That's the only phrase my parrot knows. It keeps repeating, it's like it's mocking me. <laughs> don't ever start scratching a dog unless you have nothing else to do for the next four hours. That reminds me, I need to get home so the UPS driver can finish her shift. I like to mess with my dog's mind. When we play fetch, I use a boomerang. Now he's messing with my mind. When he, re when he fetches the paper, he reads the adoption ads. My dog was hitchhiking, and the Greyhound bus just passed him by. But he got picked up by the milk truck. What are the odds of that? Like half and half? Two percent? <laughs> I'm not good at math. I take my dog to a pet psychic. She's like, you will be taking a long nap and eating the same dry food every day for the rest of your life. Don't tell him that. Don't worry, he doesn't understand English. He's a German shepherd. 
Actually, he's Canadian. And he only speaks an onomatopoeia sound effects. But you probably knew I was going to say that. My mom has one of those little wrinkly Sharpay dogs. She takes her Sharpay in for Botox treatments to get rid of the wrinkles. Now it looks like a beach ball with fur. My wife's Chinese. She doesn't get our fancy pet food flavors. She's like, what if it taste like bacon? She has a Pekingese. It wants Kung Pao chicken in a single serving pouch. My dog doesn't care about fancy flavors. He'll eat anything as long as there's a coupon. He loves those coupons. <laughs> My wife gave me this Chinese herb, ginkgo. She's like, it's like Viagra for the brain. I had thoughts that lasted more than four hours. When we got married, my neck pain disappeared. I was like, how'd you do that? She said, with acupuncture. Where'd you put the needle? In this voodoo doll. <laughs> so I got her voodoo doll. The dog found it and slobbered all over it. Now my wife smells like Alpo. He thinks it's a squeaky toy. He freaks out when the squeaks come from the other room. I got my own voodoo doll because I'm too lazy to bend over and clip my toenails. And now I can sniff my own tail. And the dog looks at me like, yeah. My in-laws are packing to go back to China. I don't know about you, but I'm cheap. I'm too cheap to buy tickets. I get drunk and try digging a hole to mainland China. I never get all the way there, but once a month, a family from Mexico crawled out and cut our grass. Fruit flies have a lifespan of one to two days. Is that like an eternity for them? What if they get the 24-hour flu? <laughs> At the end of the day, do they think about the good old seconds? My dog's like seven. That's like 1,996 in fruit fly years. I'm not good at math. I don't want to get political. But some people believe in evolution, because monkeys went to space before we did. We also sent dogs into space. What do dogs do in space? Go along spacewalks, sniffing out Russian fire hydrants that I like to pee on? What kind of dog food bowl do you need in a zero gravity environment? Because my dog can't keep food in his bowl that is. They see people get dog breeds that look like themselves, not me. They don't have a breed that looks like Stephen King. I saved a dog at the animal shelter. Well, I tried to save him. I tell him about Jesus. I take him for a walk and train him to heal. Now he thinks he can cure leprosy. I took him to the dog park. He runs around and checks out all the other dog owners. On the way home, he looks at me like, I can do better than you. All right. Dogs love to smell other dog markings. They leave messages, just like doggy email. They freak out when you pick it up. They, that was a very important attachment. <laughs> we feed them and pick up their poop, so who's the genius in this relationship? <laughs> My dog's supposed to be an intelligent breed, so I ask him if he knows about Pavlov. He starts drooling uncontrollably. Mm, no, but the name rings a bell. I saw this Indian lady, she had a little poodle. She had a red dot, and the poodle had a red dot. It said, you are here. So I followed them around all day. My wife's Pekingese has behavioral issues. It's been digging up our yard. It tried digging a hole in mainland China. It never gets all the way there, but once a month, a family of chihuahuas crawled out and poops on our grass and steals our Purina dog chow. Always remember, do unto pets as we would have pets do unto us. My name is Leif Neal Theater. Peace. Thank you. God bless.